not, it's not Irish dancing, <laughs> it's not river dance. Um, it's a very unique style of dance, um, very traditional um, to Scotland. And um, the dances that we do all tell a story of Scottish history. There's always some story that, that says about a war or the um, banning of the kilt or going off to war. Every dance that we do has a story behind it, a historical significance. The style of dance um, is very similar to ballet with, Highland, with um, traditional Highland movements, um, which is why it's so different from Irish dancing, because Irish dancing is not ballet. The history came from the clansmen who were getting ready to go um, to either into battle or as a celebration, and a lot of the dances originated from, from there. So typically like the sword dance was a, a dance that they would do prior to going into battle, and if they came out of it without hitting the sword, then they, they would, it would feel like a good omen. Um, and say something like the Stress Bay and Highland Reel was really like a celebratory dance. I was put into dancing um, when I was about five, maybe five, almost six, and um, and not that I was the youngest or even the oldest at the house at the time, but apparently from what my mom and dad said, I was the one bouncing the most at the time. I got started dancing uh, when I was born. Some people say I came out of the womb with little gillies on. <laughs> I've been dancing almost my whole life. Um, I started Scottish dancing in college and then competed in Highland um, for a while while I was in grad school and a little bit after. So, um, and then I took a break when I had my daughter, who's now a primary, and came back started taking lessons again last year. Competition environment can really vary what your goals are. For me, it was intense. Um, I was definitely trying to compete at the championship level, so it was nerve-wracking um, most of the time. Uh, but all a good thing, I guess. are um, more of that kind of military-ish style of dance, um, very athletic. The national dances are more, um, they're softer dances typically. They, um, we wear a skirt so it's a little bit less regimented and a little bit more flowing and you'll see a lot of ballet-esque movements. Jig and the hornpipe, um, not quite as soft as say a national dance like the Scottish Lilt or the Flora. They um, have a lot of shuffles and more kind of tap movements in it. Also maybe a slightly more athleticism to our dancing now than, it, than there ever used to be. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more, um, there's probably a lot more strength that's needed from from our, our dancers today, maybe than years ago. You could kind of see it even when we were competing, you could see the buildup coming. We didn't really recognize it at the time, but that's really what was happening. Um, so I think for us as teachers, we have to find that nice balance between um, having strong dancers that have the athleticism, but at the same time, just trying to stay true to the the original art form. I like how you just are always with your friends and you have to work hard but it's always worth it. Because I got to be with my sisters every weekend, we'd go to competitions together, workshops together, we made a ton of friends from, the, from across the country and um, it's really unique. I want to get healthier and I always love dance. You get to meet so many new people and it's just a great experience. Um, I've learned a lot about 
practicing hard and dedicating myself to it because it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. I like to win and I like winning big trophies and I like winning money. Stand taller or something, like carry myself um, a little higher because I know that um, I am part of something that's a little bit bigger than just a sport because I know that it can really become a career for me and that I can keep through this. I can make it like my life. Like from here I can go into teaching it and then judging it and then fundraising for it, having my children a part of it. I like the fact that it's life changing. Like if I quit now, it would just, I would just like beg my parents to just rejoin me. Two, three, again, out, tight, tight, again, and lift, two, three, four, turn, two, three, four. Like, there's, like, you can, like, dance in this, and, and it's fun. Um, my favorite thing about Highland dancing is it's definitely a lifetime thing. It's not quite a hobby. It's a lifetime of, uh, traveling, of meeting new people, um, you go from a dancer into a professional and you start teaching and judging and you know it's sort of just a, a way of life <laughs> for me at least you never leave scottish dancing it sticks with you for it's life cult. i think it's not as known as say maybe the irish step dancing because they've had that huge broadway splash but i think it's also a very traditional form of dance and it's very cultural um, I, I know that once people do it or see it, I think they're really intrigued by it. So hopefully it'll it'll grow.